Science Axes. We are going to learn how to set up the top half of our instrument. So this is the part one of setting up your instrument and um, part two will be setting up the rest. So here's what you are going to, going to need um, for now. You are going to need a reed, which looks like this. You might also have it all wrapped up like this, or you might have it in a um, cardboard box, a bunch of them. You are going to need cork grease. Cork grease uh, often comes in a little chapstick like tube, like this, or sometimes it also will come in a small little tub, something like this. It should say cork grease on it. Anything that says grease. And you are going to need the neck of the saxophone, which looks like this. Sometimes they're silver. And you are going to need your mouthpiece, which looks like this. So for this video, we are not using the body of the saxophone and we are not using the neck strap just yet. So step number one is going to be to take the reed and slide it out of case. And the way that uh, sound is created on the saxophone is that the reed, when you blow air, vibrates against the instrument. And when the reed is soft, it makes it a lot easier for it to vibrate. It's very hard to make a sound on the saxophone without having a soft reed. So the way we make it soft is to soak it in our mouth for a little bit. The top, you can keep yours in your mouth. The top part of the reed is very breakable. You can actually see how I can see the light through it. That's how thin it is. So you wanna try not to touch the top part right there, um, but that top half is what goes in your mouth. You just wanna let it soak in there for about a minute or so. So keep it in there. And while you have it in there, we are going to grease the cork on uh, the neck of our saxophone. So this cork right here is the part you need to grease up and you're going to use your little chapstick or you can just get a little scoop out of here. Um, if, this is not chapstick, so don't actually put it on your lips, please. That will be yucky. Um, and you're going to put it onto the cork and wipe it all around. If your saxophone is fairly new, this is a really, really important step. If your saxophone is not brand new, it will probably feel a little greasy already. But so you can see that I've just wiped it around on there. So it looks a little shiny, but there's not gobs of cork grease on my saxophone. It's just a little bit. Um, if you want to pause and go wipe your fingers off, that's fine. So a little bit of cork grease on there. You don't need to do this every single time you set your instrument up, what you're gonna do is, when you set your instrument up, you're gonna take up your neck, you're just gonna kind of feel it, and if it feels nice and slippery, then you're fine. If it feels like only a little slippery, then just add a little cork grease. All right, so now we are going to take the mouthpiece, and this part of the mouthpiece right here, this little uh, Darth Vader helmet, can come off, because this is not used for playing the instrument, it's just used for storing the instrument. So I like to put it right back in the case in its little spot. Um, now you can take off this part, it's called the ligature. So you just loosen the screws a little bit, not a lot, not all the way, just enough so that it comes off. And then you can take the ligature and just place it down somewhere right now. Okay, now we're gonna slide the mouthpiece onto the cork. It does not go down all the way. This instrument is kind of new, so my hands are all greasy. Um, so it's gonna be a little bit tricky to slide. You wanna slide it about halfway down the cork. So you see how you, I can still see a good amount of the cork? If it's going halfway down the cork and it feels still loose, you can push it a little more. Sometimes it'll come all the way down so that there's like only a, a half or a quarter of an inch hanging out. Um, but wherever it feels like it's tight enough, but it still can be taken off. All right, now you can take those reeds out of your mouth. Um, oh, really quickly before you do that, both openings should be facing in the same direction. So the opening here is facing in the same direction as the opening here. That opening and that opening are both facing the same way. Okay, now you can take the reed out of your mouth. And you wanna place the reed on so that you don't see the words. Your reed should be either a size two or a two and a half, are really good for beginners. And you're gonna take the reed and you're going to place it flat onto the flat part of the saxophone, like that. 
Okay. I like to just hold it with my thumb like this and get it adjusted. And you want it to be so that you can see a sliver of black, just a hairline of black right above the reed. If it's too low, you'll see like a big gap like that. And then you won't be able to make any sound. If it's too high, it kind of looks like a fingernail sticking up like that. And we don't want that. Oh, and nothing's going to happen. So we need to get it. So we need to see a little sliver of black. And then we can make some sound on there. So I'll hold it with my thumb. And I will very, very carefully slide the ligature. Be careful not to chip the top of the reed. Slide the ligature down so that it's over the reed. And I can make adjustments by touching the sides here. I can push it up with my thumb. Remember, don't touch the tip of the reed because that's how it will break. So now I am going to kind of hold it like this with my thumb and then tighten up the screws like that. They don't have to be all the way closed. See right here how there's a little gap and that's fine. They don't have to be all the way closed. Just as long as this isn't going to be moving around. It's holding the reed on no problem. So that's how you set up the top part of the saxophone and we will learn the rest in part two of the video.